Alright you guys, this is how this piece turned out. If you want to stay tuned and see how we got these amazing cells and lacing and waves and all this depth with just one pour. Also, if you like sparkly things, please stay tuned to see this tutorial. Hopefully you'll learn something. If not, maybe you'll be entertained. Hopefully one or the other or both. Oops, that was my finger. Anyways, stay tuned. What are you doing? Silver. You have a silver one? Yeah, but I want to put glitter on it though. Like, Do you have your spray glitter? I don't think that sprays. I guess we can just do spray adhesive with glitter. Silver glitter? No. I don't have that much extra fine. Toxic Beach. I don't have that much extra fine. Will that be enough? Toxic Beach. That's the name of this piece. Toxic Beach. It looks like where those two oceans meet. Okay, guys. Disco bomb. Take one. Action. Mark it. Mark. <laughs> so I had an idea from the previous pour that I just did. Um, the way it looked with the uh, with these transparent colors over them. So I thought I'll spray paint this. I just used a regular, I did not use a regular. I used Montana. Montana gold acrylic. Silver. Silver. And then I'm going to take some uh, spray adhesive and spray it on here as this. Hopefully it won't take away too much of the uh... Well, it just makes it a little matte. You know, but I don't mind it because it's still, it's still gray. And, and then I'm taking this fine glitter. It's by Recollections. I'll post all of the links to all the materials in the description box below. I want this to be like bling bling. And I just could picture that these transparent colors going over this glitter. If you guys try this, post it on social media and hashtag us at ATDART so that we can see what you're doing. And you could possibly win one of them when we get up to 5,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. Oh. All that fun stuff. That's down there. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. And to save glitter. Don't get any. I didn't know you were doing that. I was trying to be a team player. Look at that. Just imagine that with resin over it. <laughs> it's stuck forever. Okay. Got it. Crisis averted. Everybody calm down. This is the best thing to use for this because it's got the slit in it. Yay. And you can take your wax paper that you just used. Put it over it. Press it down. Can't see that on camera. So that way, it even more secures the resin. Nope, the glitter onto glitter. the canvas. Yeah. Don't just use your hands because it'll stick to your hands, and you'll have an uneven um, finish. Well, like you'll see be lines, on fingerprints. 
So I always use like a wax paper or cardboard, just something as a barrier between your hand and the base. We could probably put that up for sale, and someone would be like, I want it. Just pour resin over that shit. Mm -hmm. Very Art Deco. So, I want to do these colors again. Just the Magneta, the yeah. white. Oh my God, okay, so you guys, I love me some Anne-Marie Ritterhoff. And she, when we first started watching her, she didn't say magenta, right? She called it Magneta. And ever since then, we have called it Magneta because we just think she's the cutest thing. And it was the funniest one. What was the other one? She did Magneta and Patello. Anyway, so she would call Phalo Patella and Magenta Magneta. And so ever since then, we've been calling, it's probably been a year. Now, eight months of us using those terms. Anyways, Anne Marie, if you're watching, we love it. You guys, this glitters so much, it's just bananas. If we didn't have so many horrible lights on it, you'd be like, what? I think I'm just wired. We're in the glitter. Let's see if I cannot break this table and sit on it. Okay. I should call this instead of disco bomb. Disco Easter egg. I think that would be because it's going to be like an Easter egg design. But you don't have any clear. Huh? What do you mean it's going to be an Easter egg design? You're going to do like. I'm going to do like I did that other one. I'm going to pour clear right here. Oh, it's going to be then... just like the other one? Okay. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the younger, smaller sibling. I would love to see a big one of these. Man, that would be the shoot. The shenanigans? The shenanigans. You could say bananas. It'd be bananas because it would be bananas. Um, what did I call the person yesterday? What person? Oh, a nincompoop. <laughs> You guys, we were driving down the road, and I, what what did they do? They just, like, oh, they almost, like, hit us because they ran a red light. And the first insult that came out of Jeff's face was, watch where you're going, nincompoop, or learn how to drive, you nincompoop. I think I almost fell out of the car laughing because I don't know that I've ever heard the word nincompoop said so aggressively. I called somebody a hillbilly one time, but I yelled that out the window. Yeah, you yelled that out <laughs> someone's face. Yes, they sure. were in overalls. I think we were leaving Home Depot. No, it was in an intersection. At Home Depot. Anyways, he comes up with the most random pseudo intentional insults that are in the, it just ends up being a joke between us for the next forever nincompoop you know what some people are nincompoops what are you gonna do can't do nothing so for this one we're gonna use countertop epoxy fx you can not get it off Amazon, so I can't link it through there, but I will link um, to their website. This is what we use for our countertops because right. it can withstand 500 um, plus I degrees need, Fahrenheit. I need some uh, lids to, to put this up. Okay. Mm. It's just died. Cool. interested in see well they're not the same and this has stuff all over the top you are hey, sweet they're listening sometimes she goes 
back to her. I don't know how to arc mode. What? My what mode? I don't know how to arc. Sometimes I forget how to arc. Boom, almost just died. There's so much air bubbles in here, like it clouds it. It's all right, we'll get rid of it with the heat. All right, you guys, a lot of you keep telling me that you're having problems getting cells. I'm gonna tell you the secret to cell life, at least with what we're using right now. What Jeff's using in this resin is called Casting Craft. It's an opaque epoxy pigment. And they make it in a lot of different colors, but the white works in particular because, sorry for the sirens, we live right across the street from the police station. The reason why the white sells up so much is because of science, and the science about it is it's heavier. So when you lay down a clear and then put white in it, the white is heavier. When you tilt it, it thins out the white, and the white sinks and reasons and science, and it sells. So that's the most technical explanation I can give to you guys. I'm gonna put less than we did last time because I really want it to be transparent. So just one dropper full of each color? Yeah. You can always go back and darken it if you want. Got it clear enough. I think the glitter is gonna catch it. Like, stop it. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. You're gonna put the white on it, or you're gonna? No, I'm gonna do that after. Ah, look at that. Oh, whoa! You're out of frame. Did you see that? Watch this. It'll go over that. Make a color. It does not mix. How crazy is that? <laughs> Amazing. You should put white on it. While it's still clear. I love this. You guys ain't ready for these cells. I think you should put more in here because it's going to sell the most because that's what the clear is. Put what? White. Just, or maybe just thicken this line. Yeah, it's gonna do some amazingness. Mm, it's already starting. You guys, one of my favorite things about doing pours is the anticipation of what you're putting down and after you tilt it, what it's going to do. I love the surprise of it always being different. If you do it the same way a hundred times, you're going to get a hundred different results. That's true. It blows my mind that this, that does not mix. All right. Now when you heat it, all that's going to sell up like... See where it got thin right there? That's what's gonna sell up, is the thin parts. And that is why it makes amazing waves, because it'll leave a hard edge like this and look like waves crashing. There's your e-science for the day. You're welcome. Coming, happening. I thought that would sell up more. Oh, there it's starting. I, that just blows my mind that it didn't mix. It doesn't mix. Like, did you want it to? Yeah, I kind of wanted to. Why don't you lay some mix. pink into this? Look at that. Just move.
everybody watching is like, <gasps> no, because now all the cells are gone. It looks like we laid down pink glitter, silver glitter, yeah. and blue glitter. That's so weird. I did not expect that to happen. The white just separated. I love when you do these. Like that. I love that. I mean, if you really wanted them to mix, just put some pink over here. Because, I mean, it looks cool like this. I just, I don't like this line. Like, I don't. Then why don't you put some blue and pink through it? What I think would be really neat is if you had enough, obviously, I would, like, make this blue and then this pink so it looks like it's actually waves of color coming in on each other. I guess that wouldn't make sense since this is blue. <laughs> I just love it. So messy. Oh, all, all of them stuck. It's like the uh, the glitter is coming off, and now you don't have the harsh line. That glitter is moving. It is. It just blows my mind how it just sits like that. Like, I don't... Just don't heat it too much and make it too thin because then it's going to just mix together. It's just crazy how it doesn't mix. I think the white just creates a barrier. I mean a clear. Now I love it. The negative spaces. Did you just drop? Yeah. Is it recording still? Yeah. Mm, I love that. Oops, sorry, guys. And these circles that you see, these are not pits. That's just resin. And it makes a uh, negative space the clearer. It's so bright. I gotta like turn this down.